gonna go burn a spliff, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna drink some lean, thot out, do whatever the heck y'all, y'all, y'all like to do. And y'all just gonna have to wait for that day of fire, man, because heaven and hell is a condition played on the earth. It's not a place you go when you die. This is the white man's heaven right now, if you ain't noticed. I mean, look around. You think any black people own this stuff? You think any uh, Latino people own this stuff? No. Why you think you in the ghetto everywhere? Right. You go to all 50 states. Where you think you're going to find the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American? In the peas, in the projects, in the slums. And in jail. Now you went your whole life and you didn't think that that was a... And in jail. Now you went your whole life and didn't think it was a coincidence that so-called niggas and spicks are in jail and in the ghetto and in the projects everywhere. Come on, man. This, these are proxies. These are persons. This, this is what we have to pay for for not listening to our God. And we're still not listening to him. Because we out here shopping on the Sabbath. We, we don't know the holy days. We don't know that there's more than Ten Commandments. I bet y'all thought it was only Ten Commandments, right? Yeah, that's because y'all don't read the Bible. Right. 613 commandments. Right. The only law that's done away with is the sacrificial law. That's yeah. it. That's what, that's what Jesus Christ Jesus Christ died for. His real name is not Jesus Christ. The letter J is only 500 years old. Okay? So that's what we are here to do, man. We are here to tell you, yo, your pastor's been lying to you. Yeah. All right? They're on the 501c3 tax code. They've been lying. All right? Right. They've been lying. They only out to get your money. That's right. Okay? You go to church, you spend all your money on the church. All right? Where's your pastor when you need your rent paid? Where's your pastor when, you, when, you, when your mother died, when your brother died, you need somebody to pay for the funeral? Where's your pastor then? Where's all that money for the congregation? Where is that? You know what I'm saying? Y'all spending thousands going to church. And y'all not learning to squat. Y'all not learning to squat. Y'all didn't even know that thing's going to take a man. Huh? All right, brother. All right. All right. Hey, it's, 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 it's a lot of lords. It's a lot of lords y'all got to keep, man. Huh? Yo, hold on, brother. Go check our, go check our YouTube channel out, man. Awaken, Awaken Israel. Israel. All right? Check, check it out. Awaken Israel, dude. Yeah, four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah. And there's no letter J in Hebrew, so obviously that's not the name. Yeah. But in the original Bible, there's no letter J. The King James Bible is the name for the I. Yeah. J is the youngest letter in the alphabet. Right. You gotta understand the Bible is translated as Greek, Roman, and Hebrew, like Greek. English, old, old Quaker English, and Hebrew. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because there was different scholars. All right. So that's why you have to, to get full understanding. You actually have to do research and you have to right. learn these languages. Okay. You have to learn these. Language. That's the only way you're gonna find out the real name. You have to understand, number one, Christ was a Jew, right? We all know that. So, number one, the letter J, we're using it because most people don't really know what we're talking about. But the point is, there was no letter J in the English language. That was cool. Yo, I should have just clipped him, right? Should have clipped him. Yeah, you should have. Really should have. But that was uh, other. Right. The point is, the letter J is only 400 years old, number one. Number two, the letter, there's no J in Hebrew. So obviously, the name cannot be Jesus. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So like I said, man, your pastor's been lying to you your whole your whole life. Your pastor's been lying to you. Right? Yep. He's been telling you it's okay to eat pork. He's been telling you that... You know what I'm saying? The laws are done away with. Right. Now, who these How guys? are the laws done away with? I'm oh, sorry? Who are these guys are? Right? That? Yeah. Cesar Ray Borgia. Right. That, Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci painted to make everybody think that Jesus is white. But Jesus is not white. Jesus is black. And they just painted a picture of a faggot. He's a faggot, by the way. Right. And you see that picture on most of the Bibles. So you think in your head that Christ is white, but the Bible tells you that Christ is black. I want to ask you a question. Right? Something came to my mind the other day, right? The Jews, right? 
We're the Jews. Okay. But I listened to a story. Somebody was saying that they went up to Ethiopia and took out an original Jew and they're killing themselves. Ethiopian brother was telling me that they were killing themselves down there in, in Egypt in um, Israel because of the pressure from the so-called Jews down there. I don't understand your question. A guy from Ethiopia told me okay. that Israel, the Jews in Israel right now, went the to white Ethiopia. Jews? Yeah, the white went Jews to Ethiopia people. and take the black, the original Ethiopian but Jews. 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 Bring them to Israel. Right. And they're killing themselves off down there because of pressure from the... Maybe. So I'm going to ask the person, right? They said the Jews killed Jesus. That's a lie. Right? Certain Jews handed over Christ to be executed by the Romans. A lot of people in Christianity say the Jews uh, rejected Jesus. Only, only a few Jews John 8 John 8 verse 31 then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him if ye continue in my word then ye are my disciple indeed so how did the so called Jews um, kill him only certain Jews the Pharisees rejected right. Christ not all the Jews rejected Christ. All the disciples were Jews. Right. Peter was a Jew. Right. John was a Jew. Right. right. Apostle Paul was an Israelite. Judas was a Jew. Judas was uh, he betrayed So who killed him? The Romans. The, the Romans physically killed him. But some Israelites gave up Christ. Right. The, the Israelites snitched on him. They took the right. reward. Right. There you go. You ever seen? You seen the reward when they when the police put the reward? Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars to say something. So that's what the Israelites did. That's what the Jews did. Right. Our people snitched them out. But the Romans are the one that put him on the cross. Right. The Romans are the one that put that put that spear put that spear in the, in his right side. Right. Or left side. One of the sides. But they put it in him. Right because side. they have the picture where they were celebrating why he was dying upon the cross. And my thinking it was like, if though the Jews now, the white Jews in Israel who are celebrating and claim they're the original Jews, so I was thinking, they okay. They wouldn't be celebrating that. They right? wouldn't be celebrating. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. So I think it, it's, a, it's a misunderstood uh, misstatement to say that they killed the original Jews to get the doctrine. The only way they could get to it is like a gang, they got to get to the head. Right. But they kill him and proclaim the doctrine of theirs. Well, let me let me let me help you out if with I, something. You know, I'm trying. Yeah. Let me help you out with something. It's twofold. Christians like to push that the Jews killed Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which my brother just yeah, exactly, explained. Exactly. A certain a certain exactly. fraction of them snitched him out. Yeah. It wasn't. As a matter of fact, give me a uh, uh, Romans um, eleven and ten. I mean, excuse me, 11 and 1. Slide. Romans 11, verse 1. I said that, have God cast away his people? Right. God forbid. That means no. So a lot of people, the Christians say that because the Jews rejected Christ, that, listen to what I'm saying. The Christians, if you go to church, a lot of Christians will say that salvation is for everybody and God loves everybody because the Jews rejected Christ. That's what you will hear as a door to let everybody in to salvation. But the Bible says salvation is only for the Jews, number one. But to contradict what the Christians say as far as the, the Jews rejected Christ, read it again. Romans 11 verse one. I said that, have God cast away his people? God forbid. That means no. So God did not cast away his people. So to sit here and say that because the Jews rejected Christ, that made uh, God uh, forget about his people, we just read, that's a lie. One more thing. So why do they call us Gentiles? There's two types of Gentiles. There's a Gentile, hold on. There's a Gentile that means the other nation, right? But there are also Israelite Gentiles, meaning Jews who took on the customs and philosophies of the heathen mainly because they were forced to do it. And that started out uh, during the Greeks, during the time of Alexander. 
right? When when the Greeks enslaved us, when they took over Israel around 330 BC, to be specific, they were ruthless to us. The way they killed us, so a lot of people were scared to death, right? So if 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 they said do A, B, and C, we did it because they didn't want to die, right? So that would be what you call an Israelite who took on heathen way. So give me a uh, give me uh, Matthew uh, five, Ma Matthew ten and five. I got you. Hold on. It's very important. If you listen to uh, Christians, they'll just say it's only one type of Gentile. Yeah. But I just showed you that there's two. Give me Matthew um, 10 and 5. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. These 12, Jesus set forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Keep going. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Keep going. Verse 6. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, so Christ said, do not teach any of the heathens, the Gentiles, right? So to sit here, and if, if Christ said, don't teach the other nations, only teach the Israelites, give me a uh, map 15, 24, Christ is on, the book is only about the Israelites. You have to understand the white man, the devil made up this religion of Christianity. The book is not about Christianity. But they right? know Jesus. Excuse me? They have known Jesus. There is a Jesus, but it's not that. Christ is a black man. We just read it. When you look in Revelation chapter 1, verse 13, 14, and 15, it clearly tells you that Christ is a dark, dark skinned man. Hair like wool. Right? That's not hair like wool. Right? That's just a man named Cesare Borgia. You can look on HBO, they made a whole movie about it. Showtime, whatever. That's right. You understand? So the point of the whole thing is, Christ just said, go not into the way of the Gentiles. So how can you say that Christ, that Jesus wants to help love everybody? He specifically said, do not read it again. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. Go ahead. These 12, Jesus said forth and commanded them, right. saying, go not into the way of the Gentiles. Do not teach the Gentiles, go ahead. And into any city of the Samaritans, go enter ahead. ye not. Verse six, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ specifically instructed his disciples, do not teach the heathens or the Gentiles, as you said. We read it, I didn't make it up. That's out of his own mouth, right? Give me Matthew um, 15, 24. And then you get you get you get that and you get Luke uh 120, 130. Look at Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, so Christ again said he was only sent for the house of Israel. So how do you say that God loves everybody? When Christ specifically said, I am only sent for the house of Israel. That's it. What you have to understand is, white man is lying to you. Yeah, pull up. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got a loop. 130, yeah. And, and you get uh, Matthew 121. What you have to understand is Christianity is a religion, which is a lie about the Bible. Because we, we show it, we, we expose the Christianity lies right now. Right? Luke chapter 1 verse 30 And the angel said unto her Fear not Mary for thou hast found favor with God Mary found favor with the most high Go ahead Verse 31 And behold thou shalt conceive in thy womb And bring forth a son And shalt call his name Jesus Keep going Verse 32, he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. Keep going. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. Now the throne of his father, David. That's again referring to the Israelite. David was an Israelite, right? So what I'm trying to make you understand, this book is about the Israelites. It's not a religious book. It's about 
God and his people. Hold on, go ahead. Book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And he shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Right. For he shall save his, his people. So it said he shall save his people. It didn't say he will save everybody. From their sins. Right. Say it again. Book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. Right. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Right. For he shall save his people from their sins. Right. So now the question is, who was his people? Right? It's not everybody. Because it would have said everybody. Right. It said his people. Right. So we should know, according to what I've already read, that his people are the Israelites. That's right. Which would be you, sis. The so-called black man in America is the Jew of the Bible. That's right. And the real question is, when we tell Negroes this information, why the hell do you get mad? Why do you reject it? We telling you, you God's chosen people, destined to rule the world, and a lot of our people are like, uh, 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 I, I just, just want to be a slave. Yeah. Everybody. You want to be a damn slave. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Give me Luke uh, what I asked Luke you. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. All right. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of Israel. It didn't say the Lord God of everybody. Say it again. Luke 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Right, hold on. This is when you find out that Christianity is bullshit. Okay? Straight up like that. Keep going. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. His people again. So his people are the Israelites. And we're going to go into the Old Testament to show you that. Keep going. Verse 69 and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. David also an Israelite, keep going. Verse 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, mm -hmm. which have been since the world began. Keep going. Verse 71, that we should be saved from our enemies. That we shall be saved from our enemies. All the other nations are our enemies. They definitely, especially the white man. That's right. If you can't figure out the white man is not our enemy after all these 400 years of slavery, look what Trump is doing now. Trump, Trump last year, he said, buff him up. And ever since Trump said at the police, uh, what do you call it, the police, um, he had a speech a at, at the police, a, a rally. He said, rough him up. And ever yeah. since then, our people have been getting choked out Killed, shot. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. So it says, to, uh, to say it again. To save us so from want, our that enemies. We should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And the scriptures tell you the white man hates us in Genesis. Right? So the book is about us. But, no, the whole Bible, matter of fact, give me some, hold that, give me Genesis. Uh, 25, 27 and 41, right? What you got to understand is this religion of Christianity was beaten in when wild people were slaves, they beat your ass so you would under, accept Christianity. Real talk, you understand? So just on the strength that you was beaten to believe it, why believe it in the first place? All the other people all the other nations that practice Christianity, the Ch Japanese people, the Chinese people, uh, some Afro, whatever, were they beaten? Did they get beat to practice it? No, only us. So it's hypocrisy. Christianity is lies about the New Testament, basically. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna show you that the white man hates this according to the scripture. Go ahead. That's right. Genesis 27. Start at, uh, start at 40. No, no, start at, yeah, 41. And Esau hated Jacob. Esau is the so-called white man according to the Bible, right? All the other nations have biblical names. You're not going to see African American in the Bible. Right. You're not going to see French in right. the Bible. That's right. You're not going to see Australian. That's You're right. not going to see Chinese, right? right? The, name, the Bible has all the different nations, but they have different names. But the white man changed those names. That's right. But well, go ahead. Genesis 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob 
because of the blessings wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart that the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Keep going. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. Matter of fact, let's start it from the beginning so you understand. Go to Genesis 25 and uh, 23. So basically, Esau and Jacob were fraternal twins. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it right now. That's right. Now the Bible describes Esau as red and hairy. Take a look at this man right here. You can see the red in his face because he has no melody, right? His skin is translucent. That's why the scripture said he came out red. But the scripture doesn't describe Jacob because Jacob was so-called black like everybody else. There was no need to describe Jacob because we all know that even, even white folks say life started in Africa, right? Two, two white people cannot, never have, and cannot have a, a black baby. But two black people can and still do have black, right? So this is what I'm saying. Go ahead. Genesis. Genesis. 25 verse 23 go ahead and the lord said unto her and there, see he had to go he didn't like that see see, see the white boy he had to be. you know what i'm saying we talking facts you know what i'm saying I, that's why I, I, I wanted him to say but uh go ahead this is two, good for you to listen to two nations are in thy womb the scripture said two nations you know what a nation is right a nation is a group of people right keep going and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bow. Two manner of people, meaning two different types of people. We don't, we're not like white folks at all. It says two manner of people. What? Say it again. All right, go. Two don't nations, let nobody walk through here, man. Two nations are in thy womb. Two and, nations are in thy womb. Keep going. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bow. Shall be separated. So we're not supposed to be together with this white man. Right. It right. said, we shall be separated. Martin Luther King said, can't we all get along? Uh, I got a dream and blah, blah, blah. That's not what the Bible says. Right. Right. Keep going. And what people shall be stronger than the other people. One people shall be stronger than the other. I think we know we know who the stronger people is, right? We should know that, right? We know that's us, right? When was the last time you seen a white boy uh, boxing championship? Champion, right? Back in the 50s? Rocky Marciano? Rocky, Rocky, yeah, Rocky on TV. You know what I'm saying? White man ain't got no hands like us. He said, one people shall be stronger than the other. Keep going. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder shall serve the younger. So the Esau came out first, but it says the elder shall serve the younger. So in the kingdom of heaven, which is right after World War III, the kingdom of heaven, the white man, the, East, the Esau, will serve us. Right. Matter of fact, hold that. Give me Revelation uh, 13 and 9. Because these white folks is going into slavery. You, they're not going to get away with what they did to us. Trust and believe that. The Most High got their number. You know what I'm saying? That's why, Trump, that's why Trump was elected. When he says, make America great again, he meant keep your nick, get, get your niggas as slaves again. That's what it means. Right, that's exactly. This is what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, God is going to fix it. The Most High is going to put these devils in chains. Let's read about it. Let's talk about it. Bring it up. Book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Let him hear. If you got it, you got two ears. Keep going. He that lead it into captivity. He that lead it into captivity. We all know white folks led us into captivity here for damn near 300 years on station. We all know that. We didn't come here voluntarily. We were kidnapped. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. He that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. So these white folks is going into slavery. When Jesus Christ comes back. It's only fair. Right. Right? They can't get away with this. We God's chosen people. Any other group that played God chosen, they always got it. Look what happened to the Egyptians, right? The Egyptians got destroyed. White man's no different. So 
when World War III, see World War III, that's what it's all about. All our enemies taking each other out through nuclear warfare. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Nuclear warfare is in the Bible. As a matter of fact, hold that, drop that. Give me um, give me uh, Zechariah 4.